Okay. Um, you know, it was a, this is a big win for us. Um, coming off a bye, um, coming off a you know disappointing loss at USC, um, coming over here playing a team like Hawaii. We knew they were a four-quarter team. It's something we talked about the last two weeks of practice. Um, everybody in our conference can play. Just just look around. You know, everyone in our conference is good. Um, you know, I think our, the, the west side of the conference is, is, is really, really good. And, um, you know, I, I just think when you play in the Mountain West Conference, every week is a battle. It doesn't matter who you're playing. It doesn't matter what the record is. Hawaii's quarterback is an awesome player. They obviously have good skill, physical up front. And so it's a hard-fought win. And, you know, I love how many different players showed up for us, for us in this game in different ways. And Kyrie Robinson with the block punt, incredible. Um, you know, just a lot of fun stuff. I thought Jordan Cobbs made some great plays. So it's just an exciting thing. I thought Starko was really poised and good when he had to be. And so um, just a lot of stuff that um, when you look at it, it was messy. And, and I think, uh, you know, that's coming off a bye and, you know, the long trip and all that stuff. But I couldn't be happier for this team. And, you know, for me, selfishly, you know, having the Dick Tomey trophy for another year uh, makes me smile because I loved him and I miss him. And so it's pretty cool. Um, well, what a team win, man. Our defense was unbelievable. How fun was that? So, let's go. Questions? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you had a question. I just jumped on. Sorry. But, uh, can, I, can I take one? <laughs> go. Go um, ahead. Hey, Brad. Um, any effect on the, uh, I mean, the weather? It looked like it was a little windy. It looks like, you know, the back's against, you know, your wind. And, yeah. I don't know. What, what does that mean? Um, Are you trying to say that it looked ugly in the first and third quarters when we were going one direction? Obviously, yeah. I just wanted to feel around that. Yeah. yeah, no, Vic, it was. It was, it was super windy. Um, you know, last night, uh, you know, when we were here and we were having our, we our walkthrough yesterday, um, there was a lot of wind. And we were like, wow, you know, we might have wind tomorrow night. Having never played here, um, we, you know, we didn't know what it was going to be, you know. Um, Props to Hawaii. They they found a way to build a pretty cool stadium, um, you know, in their in their on campus here. But um, the the wind was tricky, absolutely tricky. I thought Shamar Garrett did a great job uh, fielding punts and kicks. Um, I thought our coverage units were really good. You know, that, that's stuff you worry about in the, in the special teams phase a lot, right? Because the ball's so high up and it gets caught in the wind. And um, but it, you could see it affected all parts of our game. It affected our pass game in the first and third quarters. Um, we seem to slow down quite a bit going into that really strong headwind. Um, so yeah, it was tricky, Vic. And uh, having not ever played here before, it's hard to, you can't really prepare for that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Coach, uh, obviously uh, we noticed the absence of Tyler Nevins. I didn't see Sam Olson. I didn't see Terrence Slovell. Uh, I know you, you see, you told, you told us you don't speak about injuries, but is, is at all any of this possibly COVID related or I mean you're coming off a bye to, to have so many key players missing kind of seemed a little bit odd. Yeah, that's a good point, but um, those guys were unavailable tonight. So that's just where we're gonna leave it. Okay, yeah, I can ask, you know me. <laughs> but um, no, I mean uh, uh, the, the one guy that you know, um, obviously without Tyler and Evans, that affected the balance of the offense and uh, Kyrie Robinson and Sean Gare and the game plan. How did, how did that change what you guys were trying to do? You know, I mean, the scheme stayed the same a little bit. Um, I thought Shamar came in there late and gave us a little bit of burst with a couple nice runs. Um, yes. Obviously, Shamar Garrett is one of our best football players, and so we're just trying to find ways to get him on the field and put the ball in his hands, and, and I think that's that's something that will grow and improve as we, as we, keep, as we keep playing and keep getting him more uh, kind of into the fold. Um, but I thought those guys did a nice job. Kyrie ran hard. That was a, that's a tough front, and they are mixing up a lot of different fronts, a lot of different movement. Uh, movement's hard to block. Um, and so, you know, that, that I thought we ran the ball effectively when we needed to. Um, you know, I, I don't think anyone on our staff is going to say offensively that's good enough, right? It's not. We turned the ball over a couple times. Um, we're just nowhere near the, the level uh, numbers-wise or first downs-wise that we normally are. So. Um, you know, we got some work to do there, but um, I did think Nick did some much better job tonight of staying in the pocket, climbing the pocket, keeping his eyes downfield, delivering the ball accurately. Um, 
you know, we, we had too many drops, and, and you know, again, we'll fix that. Um, we'll, we'll go to work on that right away. But um, you know, I, th I thought Nick Nick played really well too. So um, a lot of guys get credit for this, but offensively, it wasn't our best outing. You know, but I like the drives we put together late that kept them off the field and reduced their opportunity to score. So um, you know, when you win, there's there's always a bunch of good and there's always a bunch of bad. At least you, at least we got the trophy. Are you guys like drinking coffee right now? Is it three in the morning there? What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, there you go. Um, so, um, Kyle Harmon, uh, I mean, I don't know what else you could have done to avoid. Uh, Did you see it? I got. A, I heard a report that they didn't think it was targeting. Well, uh, he put his head down and then the quarterback put his head down. Okay. And so he didn't initiate it, but it happened. Um, Those things are hard, man. Those things are like bang, bang. Everyone's flying around, doing everything they can. Um, you know, I thought there was a targeting call missed on a, maybe Shamar on a return, punt return on the sideline. You know, it's – everyone's moving fast. You know, you know I, think the, I think officiating football is a hard thing to do. you got a bunch of big, big people moving really, really fast. And so um, hopefully most of the time, you know, hopefully they get the call accurate or right. Uh, the defense obviously is really amazing. Yeah, fantastic. Awesome. Awesome, man. The individual players were amazing. Yeah. Um, I'm just curious, do you inject yourself at times with Derek? Like, I, I, you seem like you stuck with a three-man rush most of the game. And, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, it obviously worked. But uh, just curious where you yeah, You know, so, it's, it's tricky. You know, part of the problem there is because their quarterback is such a good runner. So if you get him flushed with the four man or five man or six man any kind of pressure, right? That's when he becomes really dangerous, you know. And so um, we try to mix that up with coverage disguise, uh, mixed numbers of, of pressures and and that kind of stuff. And and so um, you know, I think Coach Odom has done a fantastic job building our defense here. And I think everyone contributes on that side of the ball, right? Uh, Coach Samalo, Coach Williams. Uh, Scott White, you know, Coach Kristoff. I, I really think those guys are working well together. I think they're creative with what we do. I think they're giving the players a chance to play hard and play fast and, and uh, you know, hopefully play with enough, enough physicality that gives us a chance to win. Any more? Coach, uh, Coach Odom, uh, when you guys had your Yeah, it's awesome. Dominic Mazzotti is an awesome young man, crazy hard worker. He loves football. Like, Mazzotti's going to be a coach someday. There's, like, no question. Um, he's just – and so to see him step in there and make the plays he made and, you know, he also made a bunch of mistakes. Like, he was, you know, uh, the big play down the field. He extended the ball, which is an absolute never in our program unless it's the last play of the game. Um, you know, but he was down, so it wasn't a turnover. But it's a great lesson for him. And he's a young player. Yeah, it actually looked like a touchdown, but you guys so, ran the play so quickly. Yeah, they, yeah. They, the, they, the end result was good, but I, I, I thought the same thing. And normally they whistle that, right? Like, they should have whistled that. Um, but uh, because the, end, the potential for the bad play was even scarier, right? Because it's a turnover. Um, we just wanted to get a play run. And so, um, and Nick just very alertly dealt the ball outside to Braddock, I think, and uh, it was a touchdown, so it's good. But I'm excited about Mazzotti. He's just, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a fun kid and he's going to be a good player. Uh, Brent, what do you, uh, Nick mentioned Nash, I mean, he, he was like really thrown in there. I mean, he should have had a touchdown pass, obviously. He was tough throws and fastballs to Nick. Um, that was a lot to, to I was surprised. I, I just, man, he really got a whole score for with the plays there. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel like he handled that? I think Nick is going to continue to be a Swiss Army knife for us, and you're going to see him play a lot of football. And, um, you know, he, he has the ability to change the game with a single touch, and he also throws it pretty well, too. So, um, you know, 
again, trying to find ways to be creative and get our playmakers with the ball in their hand was where we were at tonight. And um, there's definitely some, some missed opportunities there, right? But that's uh, the only way you get good at football is by playing football. And Nick has to play. The offense split up 526 yards on 71 plays, I think. And Will Hart put up uh, 489 yards uh, on 11 punts. Uh, I mean, uh, I know he's uh, going to enjoy going back to West, uh, Michigan yeah. for, for next week. Uh, I mean, what kind of impact has he had right away? He's been awesome. He's a great young man. He's just got a good way about him. Uh, the, the team really likes him. And he's performing at a high level. And so that's just like, that's an awesome thing to see where, you know, the grad transfer thing or the transfer portal works. I think lots of times you see instances where the transfer portal doesn't play out great. Or there's a bunch of kids stuck in the transfer portal that never got out. But uh, Will's been a great addition to our team. He's crazy smart. Um, you know, and so he's really a fun guy to talk to. The guys really embrace him. And the way he's playing is really helping our football team. Again, the wind played into that too, right? The wind made it tricky. We're trying to sky punt those kicks, and it's just carrying the ball out of the end zone. So um, that made it a little complicated, but you know, we're really glad he's here.